Hey everyone, welcome to another one of my rare videos that showcases my voice. Today, I'm back with something different from this channel, but not all that different from what's been going on here before. If some of you remember, last March I published a video reviewing the Gaumon PD1560. Well, back in the end of August, I was contacted by the kind company asking if I could review another one of their products. I immediately jumped on the opportunity as I thought reviewing another tablet would introduce a wide audience to more accessible digital art material that comes at a very decent price. Today I'll be unboxing and reviewing the Gaumon M106K. When I received the tablet, it came in a sleek white box with silver writing. Inside first was a card with links to where tablet drivers could be found, then the tablet itself. Underneath the tablet, I found the tablet pen, a wool pocket holder thingy with extra pen nibs inside, and an instruction manual. There was also a tablet cord and pen charger in the box, but I forgot to record footage of that. The Gaumon M106K is a 10 by 6.25 inches sleek and light professional graphics tablet with a pen of 2048 pressure levels and a left hand mode. The going price of this tablet on Amazon is currently $59.99 USD, which if I might say is a very reasonable price for an investment if you're new and looking to get into digital art, especially if you're comparing to the tablet's equivalents in other companies. Downloading the drivers was incredibly easy, and the only requirement it had was for all the drawing programs to be down while installing. Once you've installed the drivers, you can find the directory in your taskbar's hidden icons. In there, you can find shortcut keys, pen info, and workspace info. You can also switch to left-hand mode here. The M106K works on Windows and Mac, and is compatible with Osu, Toolpaint Sai, Photoshop, Corel Painter, Illustrator, Sketchbook Pro, Manga Studio, and many others. My experience with the M106K was really pleasant. It worked just as well as my old Wacom Bamboo tablet, but with a bigger work area and cheaper price. Though it took me a while to remember how to use such a tablet, it was amazingly easy and convenient once I got the hang of it. If you're looking into getting a tablet for digital art, I highly recommend this. I'd also like to announce that the Gaumon PD1560 display tablet's price is being lowered from 409 USD to 399. This is the drawing tablet I use every day and I'm in love with. If you're interested in an upgrade or want a display, I highly recommend this. Also, if you want to buy an M106K or a PD1560, you can receive a free gift with it on Amazon. Thank you for watching. I hope this unboxing and speed paint review was entertaining for all of you as I really enjoyed making it. Please make sure to subscribe if you think my content is for you, and hit that bell if you haven't already. I'll leave a link to my last Gaumon video in the description below. Have a good day! Bye bye
I don't want to drive a fancy car today I don't want to ride in a red Corvette I don't want to jog my Saturday away But I don't want to go home yet Today is not the day to jump out of a plane I don't want to parasail or play roulette I don't want to risk it all or go insane but I don't want to go home yet I just want to watch the birds go by From my handy foldable blue canvas throw I want to watch them fly and fly And see them soar up into the unknown But I feel just like a nerd Watching birds, watching me here all alone I don't want to break dance or run taekwondo I don't want to fish till all the fish are gone I don't want to roller skate even if it's slow I don't want to pass out in a marathon I don't like soccer, baseball, track or field I'm not up for a match of polo I don't want to seek or try to stay concealed. I'm also not up for water polo. I just want to watch the birds up there track the migratory patterns that they flow. I want to watch them from my chair with my binoculars, my latte, and my phone. Trying to spot a lark in the park, parked in nature all alone. Alone here with the doves and the sparrows and the ospreys, the owlets, the egrets and mines. It's just me and Mr. Finch, the robins, the kingfishers, the snipes, though I heard they don't exist. Each little species in its little way can teach me what awaits you if you can get away. The birds do what they will, so if I'm ornithologically prone, I want to watch from somewhere undisturbing, quiet, calm, still, sit right here and gaze at the unknown. I don't want to fly in the sky, I just want to be alone. It's not a big deal, or anything. I just want to be alone. Let me...